firewall. Okay, first off, this is not a canoe rescue video. Even though this canoe is upside down and appears as though I'm hanging on for my life, I'm in fact standing on the ground, as you can see. Still on the rack. Makes a nice little work surface, my old town, Charles River. Love this canoe. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the saw wet. You've seen me put it on Instagram and did a little intro video, I don't know, months ago, but I've had a lot of people asking about it. It's pretty basic in the sense that it's a, uh, traditional uh, brush saw, folding camp saw, buck saw, bushcraft saw, whatever you want to call it. It's a saw that folds up and you cut wood. Call it what you want, but we're calling it, or Rick calls it, the saw wet. And Rick, yeah, it got its name because of its size. And uh, Rick's, uh, my buddy Rick, who's a main guide, New Hampshire guide, spent pretty much all his life working in the uh, interests of conservation, we'll say. Came up with this little idea because he's a traditionalist. He likes the old the old ways. And the little saw wet here, it's named after the, the saw wet owl, which is a very small owl. I don't know if you've ever seen one, but we have them up this way. They're very tiny, tiny owls, cute as a button. So it got the name saw wet, but to cut to the chase, basically this is, it's that simple. You've seen the windless saws. Essentially, it's just a saw like this that has a string or a rope on the top and build tension and that's what holds it together but this is held together with a steel rod which is pretty cool because it doesn't slip around but the saw is pretty much three components you got your brace or your yoke or whatever you call that the saw i call it a yoke you got your uh, steel rod that rick makes by himself this is all made right in new hampshire right in his shop from ash you got your steel rod with a wing nut on one side a uh, castle nuts they call it on the other and two little aluminum or steel, I forgot what these are, I think they're little fastener things, uh, clips. I apologize for not getting my terminology perfect. But. And then you get your saw, which folds into itself. Like, I'm sure you've all seen these, or you know how they work, but usually it folds up like that, and everything goes inside this pouch. And then when you want to put it together, you simply open it up, put your center piece in. I'm sure down in the comment section someone's going to tell me exactly what that piece is called because the name escapes me right now, but I'm counting on you guys to pull me in, as you always do. I appreciate it. And this simply goes in like this. Yeah, push it through, if you will. Okay. Out the other side, put your little fastener clip on. That fits nice and neat right there. You can see, wing nut. Tighten it up, you don't have to over tighten it, just tighten it up. And I think it's solid as a rock. So it's very light. When you're all done, take it back apart. Slide your rod out. Okay. Always make sure you put all this stuff together first so you don't lose your wing nut and your uh, flip. And when you get all together, that's it. Like that. Put it inside the case. And then you can uh, drop it right in your pack, your haversack, uh, wherever you want to carry it. I like to slide it down the side of my uh, car hearts, that little side pocket works pretty slick and it's a pretty slick little rig it's great for you know working around the trimming brush around the house or uh, taking camping or take it out on a little uh, day hikes you know if you want to have your bio stoves or whatever you could have your little twig stoves keep feeding little twigs and it cuts you know we've got two and a half inch horn beam with this thing like pretty easily so it'll handle pretty much you know anything you want to use for a campfire up to about that size but again, you know, obviously you're not going to be cutting a winter's wood with this thing. You're not going to be, uh, you know, cutting up a whole ton. It's just not what it's made for. It's made for uh, carrying around with you and having the, the advantage of having a saw when you want it without carrying around a big, big saw. It's pretty cute. It's pretty slick. I love it. I've been using it for a couple of months. I wanted to use it for a while and really get familiar with it before I started kind of talking about it. But I'm pretty happy with it. I was happy with it from the get-go. But, you know, it's been... I've had mine, I don't know, 
two, three months now. And the more you use it, the easier it goes back together. You take it apart, put it back together, everything goes together a little easier every time. And you get used to it. So anyway, let's cut a little bit of wood and see what this thing will do. So yeah, I'm gonna do a, cut a couple of branches with it and show you how, how slick it works. As you can see, there's a little bit of a beaver problem here. Beaver have been coming up and starting to chew through some of the little saplings and they're getting into the bigger trees. So there's a concern that they're gonna cut some of the big trees down, which is another whole issue aside from this saw video. But what we're gonna do is clean up some of these little saplings and try to get a little bit of firewood and stuff here for a campfire. Now they asked me to cut a couple of those. They want those little sap, uh, little shoots, or whatever you wanna call them. They want those cut out of there. So I'm just gonna hack them out. Otherwise I wouldn't be cutting down a live tree if I wasn't told to do so. Those are about, well, I don't know, Two inches around or so at the bottom. Let's see how this thing burns through those. Dry that out, be some nice firewood. Oh, works pretty good. Well, as usual, as soon as we start a little project here, it starts raining, which doesn't bother me, but uh can't leave my camera out in the rain for obvious reasons so anyway I just wanted to give you a little quick demonstration on the saw wet any questions shoot me an email post it in the comments go to the trading post check it out WCW trading post and uh, oh, slick little rig I'm really happy with it thank you